prison and boot camp, things got way out of control. In fact, this is when I first realized that these teams, this particular set of teams, was unlike any I have ever met. They were wild, they were violent, and most of all, they didn't seem to be afraid of anybody. Take a look. We should have seen it coming. This show and these teams were volatile to begin with. But as they left the stage, things really got out of control. So they tried to restore order to Francisco. Just down the hall, Tiffany was going at it with the drill instructor. You don't do what you have to do. You don't do what you have to do. Team looked shocked by Tiffany's boldness, but the drill instructors weren't impressed. You know what? You're gonna be good like everybody else. I'll bet you don't like nobody else. I ain't like nobody else. Well, meanwhile, Mad Dog was trying to get through to the other troubled teams. I work with juvenile kids just like you every day, girls in LA County. I buried five last week just like you. But Tiffany wasn't having any of this. Things got so heated that everyone needed to be separated. Leah was enraged, and she wanted nothing to do with Mad Dog or his jail trip. I ain't going nowhere! Oh, I ain't going nowhere! You'll know where you're going to go 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 me! Leah's mother had seen all she could take, and suddenly it was on. Move! Out of my face! Make me! Get the out of my face! Get the out of my face! So, was she really not going anyplace? What about Francisco? What would happen to her? Will two days with these guys change Tiffany? Will we help any of these girls? Now, these girls were so bad, we felt the need to split them up. Now, Francisca and Jennifer went to the Lancaster prison in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And Sade and Tiffany went to GRW's Labette Women's Correctional Conservation Camp in Oswego, Kansas. So, are you ready to see what your daughters were like and what they went through? Let's start with Francisca and Jennifer's trip to prison. Mad Dog kept up his end of the bargain. He delivered the girls from our studio to the Lancaster County Jail. It's showtime, ladies. From this point on, Francisca and Jennifer were prisoners. Nobody tells you to put your feet on my line! Get back off of my line! Yeah! Get back off your Thousands of drug pushers, gangbangers, and murderers had taken before them. Who are you gangbanging down now? This is my world. You can't win. What are you looking at? You don't have the right to a game. You're off. Do you understand what he's telling you? I said, do you understand what Officer Drake is telling you? Yes. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. They had only been inside for 20 minutes, but the structured lifestyle of prison was more than Francisca could handle. When things finally calmed down, Francisca and Jennifer were taken to meet the women who not long ago were on the same path. Proud of the fact that I'm here, but here I am, and I will get my respect. Hitting the mother and beating up the little innocent little children, those are things that we don't go for around here. You'll be lucky if you get a bad I don't want you in here. I don't want you in my prison. I don't want you in any prison. I don't want to look at you. Sorry, Teddy. Then the girls were taken to the maximum security cell, where the most hardened criminals are incarcerated. It's hard to tell what really happened, but even in prison, Francisca's gang ties got her in trouble. It finally looked like life in the prison was getting through to both girls. What are you going to do? Listen, do we go back home? What are you going to do? do what you your mother? And by the time they talked to the warden and the judge, the fight was all but gone. You don't want to go through this for 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for how many years you're putting here. It's not worth it. When it comes to make a choice, make the right choice. Make the wrong choice. You have to look at them and hopefully make a proper choice in your life. He was right. They do have a choice. Change the path they're on or spend the rest of their lives behind bars. Does that affect you at all when you see your daughter like that? Yes. 
coming out. It hurts. And it's, to me, it's like she's possessed by the devil when she does those things. Barbara, when you saw when you saw Jennifer in there, did you expect any change? No. Okay. I really didn't. Well, we'll see what happened because she's going to be out here in a second. Then there was 14-year-old Tiffany and y'all, and 12-year-old Sade. Now Roddick is fighting a long fight, not using his legs at all. <laughs>